Hello everyone, welcome to Green Learner. So far in Spring Data JPA, we have covered two, three videos which has covered already the basics of things. Okay, so you have not watched those videos, you can go and look into that. So this is the channel and this is the first one, this is the second and this is the last video that we have made on sorting a data JPA. Okay, so, so next we are going to look into paging part, slicing and also look into the native query how to execute the native query from your uh, repository okay so let's go ahead and go to the project and start one by one okay so let me brief you about paging and slicing so paging uh, there are sometimes requirement that in table if you have thousands of record and you do not want to all the records first at one time okay so you want pieces in multiple pieces multiple parts uh, suppose 100 100 records in one call and 100 in another call so for that purpose paging helps a lot and slicing is also for that but uh, different functionality okay we will understand in this video so paging to divide grouping the data that are there in database okay so let's go ahead and see the practical coding and uh, see this in action okay so i'm going to intellize the idea so this is the project that uh, we are making okay so user repository service intl user service and user controller okay so far we have covered all these things so if you go back and see the other videos you will get to know a proper understanding of this what are these okay so first Let's understand this GPA repository. Okay, so if I open GPA repository, it is extending the paging and sorting repository. Paging and sorting repository is the main interface that has methods, behaviors uh, which will provide the functionality of page and slicing. Okay, so if I go ahead and open it, so it has find all. Find all has in CRUD repository also, but different method signature. It has and sort we have seen it in the previous video this is the paysable it takes the paysable argument and performs the paging part okay so we will look into this here okay so if i open paysable it has unpaste is paste these are the methods here okay so here in paysable we have is unpaste get page number so these are the different get page size all these things I can get from this so let's go ahead and use the user repository get all and pass the payable okay so I'll go to user service IMPL and create a method okay so go to user repository and here it will return page type pages of user okay so I have to import the page so if you link if you look into the page it comes from the spring data and domain then page okay so get all users by pages okay it takes two things number of elements in the pages that you want it will divide the number of elements that are there in database into those number of pages okay and which page you want to display so first I am passing page number and uh, okay so I have to pass it as int int page number and then int number of elements per page okay so this is the method signature that I want okay so let's go ahead and implement this okay so uh, what I'll do user repository find there are many versions of find all okay so here in this one we are interested in find all this page table okay here what I will do find all I have to pass the instance of page table to get that we have page request okay which is inside the spring data and then there are different methods for this so different versions of this and if you want the sorted version and direction for this example i am going ahead with the first one page and size okay so which page i want to display that i have passed page number and how many elements i want per pages okay so that is there number of elements per pages 
so suppose there are 100 records in the database and you have passed 10 number of elements per pages okay so it will divide those 100 records in 10 pages okay and among that 10 pages if you are passing the 5 so it will return the fifth number of pages okay uh, the records that are there so numbering starts from 0 so 0 to 9 for 100 records 10 elements per pages there will be page numbers 0 to 9 if you enter page number 0 to 9 it will return the data whatever there uh, in the particular page okay if you are exceeding going beyond that uh, 10 or 11 it will return empty because there are no pages there okay so let's go ahead and use this in controller and then uh, fetch the data using swagger ui okay so i'm going ahead in here so i'll do copy from here and get mapping i want get all user by pages okay so what i'll do pass the page number so here i i'll call get all user by pages okay so i'll pass first one page number second number of elements per pages okay so here it is returning this so i have to change the return type so by page i have to do this okay so just uh, import this one okay so what it is saying a string i have these are uh, coming as a string so i have to convert it into integer integer dot parse int and inside that pass this page number and now we are good to go okay so little bit about page if i go here so page extends slice slice we are going to say in a while and if slice it is extending the streamable and if i go to streamable then it is extending supplier okay so streamable so it's like list that you have so it is the stream of data that you can get okay so it is it will provide you the methods to properly print that you use in list okay so i can get it and it will print in proper format so let's go ahead and run the application and access it in swagger ui okay so i'm going ahead and starting the application okay so the application has started so let's go ahead and access the swagger ui so swagger ui will be running on this 808 port with this spring data demo context path okay so this is our local host 8083 spring data demo in swagger ui okay swagger ui is the nice way to interact with your apis endpoints that you have so these are the different endpoints that we have defined so here we are interesting in this one this is the new one that we have added okay so just open it and try it out number of elements per pages that would be want okay so before looking into this just let's go ahead and see how many elements are there in the database okay so for that i have this get all user so i can execute it and see how many records are there so these are the these many records are there so almost 18 10 15 records are there so what i want number of elements per pages i want 5 okay so if there are 15 records it will divide those in three pages okay so suppose i want the elements in first page not first in second page because page numbering starts from zero remember this okay and execute this see i have got it okay 10 this m texas and exact five records i have got okay exact five records how to see see it returns content this is the first second third fourth and fifth record and then the second parameter is here payable okay it is passing you some information that you can look into sort sorted false means they are not sorted okay unsorted means true means they are unsorted okay offset page size is 5 page number is first page true last this is the last this is not the last page total pages are there 3 okay total elements are 14 size is 5 per page size is 5 okay so you can see all whole lot of information here in page 
list of days that you have okay so if i uh, see here uh, what it is saying is this the last page no okay if i and total number of pages are three okay if i go to second page and execute it okay so what it is going to return it is the first element second element third element and this is the fourth element so only four elements are there in this page so supposed to be five pages because there are only four elements left in the la last page so we have only four and here last should be true okay so if i see here first false last this is the last page okay so this all informations that i can get from here okay so this was all about paging that we can do okay and apart from returning this directly i can if i want to perform some manipulation over the pages okay so i can get that data and print that data here and then i can perform different methods that are there in page interface page interface okay so what are there page i can check if it is empty or not okay i can get total number of pages total elements i can get and map i can get okay and apart from this it extends slice okay so slice also i can get which number is there which size it is okay get content number of elements in that page that it is returning it has content or not i can get all these information okay so this was about page okay all about pages basic introduction you can go ahead and now start exploring this page part if i go ahead and this page request page request dot off it had it has different flavor like anti size and i can also pass the sort parameter uh, if i want to sort it by some means okay if i pass that in this sort instance i can get it by sort by and sorting param first name last name id whatever is there i can pass that then in that case i'll get the sorted data per pages okay you can go ahead and uh, play around with that also so this was all about uh, this paging part okay that is done next coming to slicing so slicing is very similar to page okay if i go ahead and see this page so page has some page extends slice so let's see slice and see its documentation a slice of data that indicates whether there is a next or previous slice available allows to obtain a page able to request a previous or next so slice only knows what is the if there are next pages available or not it doesn't know if there are third fourth fifth pages available it only has information it's it only has information about its surroundings previous or next only okay so we can use slice instead of page if we have limited requirement that we want information about previous or next only okay so page comes page comes with some more information what ever slice has it has page also has okay if i go to my service impl and then i want the pages of user if i want the slices of pages instead of pages of user how can i do that if i go here and just i'm copying it and writing a new method so get all user by slices okay so here if i want to return slice of pages instead of page of users so what i have to do just introduce the local variable here users okay so what i have to do just make it slice okay so what i have to do here also make the return type as slice of users okay so it will not bother here so it will return me the pages and as it extends the slice also so that will not be issue so we will get the slice that is that are there okay so user service i am pale so if i go and use this in controller so then i'll be able to get the slice of pages okay uh, instead of uh, page users okay 
so you can go ahead and play around this slice or page so they're more or less similar okay so if you have page you don't have to worry about slice so you can play around with page or slice also so last one is native query okay so what is the use of this so if i go to the previous repository methods that that we have user repository so how to go there so this this is user repository okay so here what we were doing we were by writing this query i was referring this 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 user with the entity that we have okay this user if i change if i change it to small one if user if this user repository if i change this query to this user which i will be referring to the table name in database okay it will throw an error okay in this case because it is not understanding that you are executing some sql query here it is referring to the entity that you have and then later on later on it is mapping with the database if you want to directly write the database query here you have one way that you can do it so there is one member here native query by default it is false but if i make it true i can execute directly the database queries here okay so now i can write this user here and the rest of the things will go as it is okay this mapping and all the stuffs will go like that okay so if you go to this query and it has value default count query and there are different things native query it is not or not count name or not so you can use all this uh, based on the documentation that they have so just i wanted to specify because we missed in earlier video so you can directly execute the database queries here also okay so I, for now i'll be commenting it out if you can play around with this you can play around it and if you see any issue you just put that in comment section i'll be happy to help you out okay so this was all about this and this is the last video about spring data jpa in the next videos i'll be talking about the very important topic in microservices as well as in spring boot also where we will be interacting with different services we will be communicating with different services okay we will call the one service from another service and get the data from there so communication channels what are the different communication mediums there are rest template teen client is there jackson json many things are coming for now you play around this spring data jpa and the entire topic if you see any issue anywhere you just put that in comment section or ping me I'll be happy to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video. And for the code part, you can go ahead to the green learner. This is Spring Boot, uh, this repository. I'll I'll give the link in description box also. You can get all the details. Okay. So for data demo part, I'm putting it here. Okay. So I'll be properly. I will be more formatting this documentation where topic wise, I'll be give the link of the videos here in YouTube so that you can directly. access it from this page here topic wise okay properly so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye